Hello, everyone. I'm going to go over day 12 activities with you on your packet. Hopefully, day's 11 activities went stellar. Um, this is just a reminder of my office hours. So I'll have two office hours a day. One will be after our morning session, so from 9.15 to 10.15, and the afternoon will be from 1.15 to 2.15. So if you have any questions about anything or you want to do something with me on the packet, um, that is a great time for you guys to um, ask me. Um, so yeah. All right, so this is what it will look like um, on your packet for day 12, be this row right here. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so for math, um, activity one, you're gonna need to use your um, composition notebook for. So you're going to get different materials from your house. Pencil, a book, toothpick, crayon, um, maybe a chair, a spoon, maybe um, a fun toy that you have at your house. And you're gonna compare um, those objects with one another. And you're gonna create sentences inside of your notebook, comparing them. So I have an example here. Um, I was comparing a pencil and a fork. So my sentences say, the fork is longer than the pencil. My other sentence says, the pencil is shorter than the fork. So um, that's what you're gonna do inside of your notebook. Now this is just one example. You can do as many as you want, um, but you're filling in this, um, these sentences inside of your notebook. For math, for the next activity, you have your optional um, video, ordering objects by length. This is a great video to watch. Um, I'll have this link um, in the description of this video and then also in my dojo message that I'll send out this afternoon. All right, so then you have your solve and share. Um, this is going to be on page five of your packet. Here are the directions for the solve and share. How can you find out what, whether the shoe or the pencil is longer without putting them next to each other? Hmm, what can you use? Circle the longer object and explain how you found out. So the, the optional video actually does a great job with helping you figure out this problem. Um, if you have any other additional questions, please come to my office hours and we can do this together if you want. All right, so then you have problems five, six, and seven to do on your packet. Um, six and, for some reason, five and six, the directions are not there. So I'm gonna go up the directions with you. You're going to write the word longer or shorter on those um, lines underneath each of those objects. And so you're gonna be comparing the two objects that are given to you. So for five, they gave you a book and a toothpaste. So you have to you have to decide well which um, object is longer. You'll write um, that word underneath the object, and then you'll write which one is shorter underneath that one. Same thing for six. This is a toothpaste and a stapler. So I have an example here. I have a crayon and I have a um, marker. So the crayon is shorter, so I wrote shorter here, and the marker is longer, so I wrote marker here. All right. Then you're going to use the pictures and the objects from um, numbers five and six to fill in these blanks. And here are um, how to read these sentences. The book is longer than the blank. The toothpaste is longer than the blank. So the book is blank than the stapler. So using the objects from um, numbers five and six to help you fill in these blanks. And then for reading, you have your um, optional video for day 12. This video does read um, Mongo's Migration to you. So I highly suggest you watching it and following along with um, the text as it's read to you. Um, I think it's a great way for you just to and have a nice read aloud time. Um, so listening to the story, maybe give mom and dad a break and let them do some work while you listen to the story by yourself. Um, and this link will also be included in um, the description for day 12 and also in the dojo messages. So you're first gonna listen to Mongo's story um, 
with this link. You can follow along with your packet. And then afterwards, you can talk with mom and dad or brother and sister about the word migration and see if you can find it inside of your text to help you answer in order to help you figure out what you think it means. After you've talked about it, then you're going to answer these questions that are on page 14 of your packet. So for the first question, you're actually answering two questions. The first one says, who are some of the characters in the story? Who is the main character? So I have your sentence starters here already for you. So you'll be, um, this will help you write out your answers in a complete sentence. So the first one says, some of the characters in the story are blank. And so you'll fill that in. Then the main character is blank and you'll fill that in. So there's actually two questions that you're answering for question number one. And then these are, and these are your sentence starters that you're gonna use. Then the second question is asking, what is the setting of the story? And your sentence starter is going to say, the setting of the story is blank. And you'll fill that in as well. So this is on page 14 of your packet and you're using Mongo's Migration, the story that you just listened to, to help you um, answer these questions. All right, so for word work, um, this is gonna be day 12 of the videos for cycle 18. Again, this is a great resource. Um, so I really suggest you guys listening and watching it. After you have watched the video, um, inside of your packet, you have your decodable text. It looks just like this. All right, it's called baseball. You're going to highlight your cycle 18 words in this decodable text. So it's just like what we do at school, except for, um, this decodable text isn't like the little books that I give you in school. It's just, um, it's written out just on a, one piece of paper. So you're gonna highlight, circle, underline your cycle 18 words um, and also your sight words for the week. And these are the sight words. Um, time, watch, ago, and long. So you're gonna do all of that right here in this part of your, um, your packet. After you have found your words, then you're gonna read your decodable text. Um, you can read it, maybe have, maybe the first couple of times you read it to yourself and then you can read it with a, to a family member, brother or sister. Really focusing on reading it smoothly, using expression and just the right speed. Remember, we don't wanna read too, too fast and we also don't wanna read too, too slow. So just the right speed. Um, this also is just an option if you want to come on to my office hours and um, read me this decodable text. I would absolutely love that too. So um, <coughs> that's just an option. This is just like um, as if you were going on to class dojo and reading your decodable book to me, which is what we used to do. So um, you're more than welcome to come on and read it to me. Maybe you can send a video to me either way. Um, but after you find the words, then you're going to practice reading. All right, and then social studies, where the topic is about saving money. We've talked about this a little bit at school. When people save money, they choose to give up spending money now in order to buy things later. So in this activity, you're gonna think of something that you wanna save for the future. It might be an object or it might be some place that you wanna go that's really cool. You're gonna draw a picture of that idea and you're gonna write about how you're what you're gonna do in order to save for it. So I have an example here. I want, I really want this really cool comic book. Um, so I drew a picture of my me with a comic book or I found one clip art, but you're gonna draw one. And this is what I wrote. I really want to buy a comic book, but I don't have enough money. I can save up money to buy it. When I wash my, when I wash the dishes, I earn $1. When I vacuum my room, I earn $2. I will save all of the money I earn for two weeks. Then I will have enough money to buy a comic book. So I told you what I wanted to save for, and then I told you what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna, and how I'm going to save my money. So that's what I want you guys to do inside of your notebooks. And it will be really helpful if at the top of that page too, you'd say you'd write day 12 too, just so that you guys can organize um, which activities go with which days. All right, and then you'll end um, with doing a fun special area activity. Remember to do your brain breaks in between each session. Um, 
if there's any questions that you have as you're completing this or you want help with anything, remember, please use my office hours. We'd love to help you. I would love to do some of this with you. Um, but that's it. So I, go, I hope you guys have a successful time completing day 12. See you later.